for me, being responsible for the career of, you know, Catholic Boy in this case, showcasing his abilities and, and you know, possibly putting him into, a, you know, a stallion barn down the road, that, that's as meaningful as, as anything. Um, you know, he's a deserving horse. And then, you know, second to that are the, the clients that support us and, you know, having been able to deliver on a big day for them was uh, stellar. I grew up in uh, Virginia and, and what we would definitely consider horse country. I grew up on Rookaby Farm, which is, uh, you know, Paul Mellon, who was an icon in our sport, and I got to witness the tail end of that. Uh, you know, I, I grew up riding and, you know, spending just about all of my time with horses. Um, and it's something I've loved and, you know, pursued since, since day one. One of my first loves was, was being, you know, being a jockey and, you know, steeplechasing is relevant to our area and, uh, you know, it's something that we're very lucky and was successful right off the bat and uh, won a couple great at stakes. And then, you know, I just had a fall that left me <laughs> in a bad spot for a little while, but uh, it was a byproduct of, uh, you know, the job. So we overcame it and we were here. There was a couple uh, months where there were some big question marks on whether I would be able to walk and you know just just have a, a normal lifestyle. But you know, thankfully, you know, good luck and, and a great surgeon and good support system. I mean, everything kind of came back, and here we are. We actually found him uh, at the January sale as a short yearling. Um, you know, a big part of my year would consist of going to sales and buying weanlings and yearlings, and uh, he was a horse that, you know, fit the prototype of what we're looking for athletically, and uh, kind of had an idea what the reserve was gonna be, and I followed him up and kind of let, let him RNA and, come ba and came back with a, uh, you know, a, a fair price for the horse, and we were thrilled to get him, and, you know, he's a horse that, um, you know, Mr. LaPenta and, and his team allowed us to purchase and, and, you know, develop him, and he seemed to be doing well in our system, so they left him with us. Thankfully, <laughs> he did. They're off in the Belmont Derby Invitational. Analyze it, Catholic boy battling him again today. Analyze it, Catholic boy. And then hunting Horn on the outside. Who's it going to be? It's a photo that's going to be a head bobber, maybe Catholic boy. Analyze it comes down to the 16th pole. Catholic boy comes at him on the outside. Catholic boy's going to beat him. He's certainly the gamest horse we've trained. Um, and, you know, the first mile of those races I watched as a trainer and the last, you know, furlong to quarter mile I watched as a fan, it was something to, to behold. And, uh, you know, Analyze is a very good horse and, you know, so he's a good barometer for, for the effort. So, you know, we were just very proud of him and, you know, he grinds it out. So he's just kind of a grinder, he stays. He's got, uh, you know, a, a, relevant amount of speed, but it wouldn't be anything flashy, so uh, it's just he keeps coming. I'd like to, a continuation of what we're setting out to do, which is, you know, to have a smallish, numerically speaking, stable with high quality horses that we've, you know, kind of started from the ground up, um, you know, so we can just spend time trying to do, develop them the right way. Jonathan uh, has been a friend of mine for a long time, and uh, he's a First and foremost, he's a great guy and he's a, a really talented horseman. And I'm happy to see him doing well, training his own horses now. He's, you know, he started a business uh, rehabbing and breaking horses out in Ocala and I didn't hesitate at all to support him and send him some of my clients' horses to, to help with because I knew he'd do an outstanding job and he did. A really great, good job. And now to see him succeeding on his own, it's no surprise to me. Uh, happy for him. Well, Jonathan Thomas, well, he was a terrific assistant. You know, he's, he's uh consummate professional, everything you're looking for in an assistant trainer. He's totally reliable, honest, good communicator, good horseman, and uh, you know, I think uh, you know, we had some good years together, did a great job, and I'm not, not surprised that he's doing, doing well on his own. From Todd, definitely uh, good communication and organization, um, you know, and, and he's got an amazing work ethic, which you know, I strive to, to, to meet every day. Um, you know, there's a lot of ups and downs in this business, and I think his consistency is second to none, uh, both in demeanor and the quality of work he delivers, so we're always trying to uh, follow suit. 2018, it's been a career year. Um, you know, we've 
had some quality horses that uh, you know ha have really helped us kind of break through to another level, and, and it's really important to us. I mean, you know, we work hard to, to work with quality horses and quality clients, and you know, hopefully we can continue doing that.